There are several different sex reassignment surgeries a person can consider to go from male to female. Evaluating the procedures, the cost, and the outcome can help a patient decide which they would like to pursue. Some of them look like female genitals when done and others allow the changes to function like female genitals. Working closely with a professional can help a patient understand their options. It often depends on several variables and each case is unique. It isn't uncommon for hormone replacement therapy to be put in motion months before an actual surgery is scheduled. Many of these procedures involve the testicles being removed and the penis is inverted. Others focus on a specific area of the body such as the breasts or the buttocks. 1. Breast prostheses. This allows them to have the appearance of real breasts when they wear clothing. The size and shape of them depend on their preferences. The goal is to give them a realistic look to blend in with the rest of the shape and size of their body. 2. Buttock augmentation. Changing the design of the male buttock region to resemble that of a female is known as buttock augmentation. This process involves surgically implanting a prosthesis into that region. The procedure can also involve contouring where fat is removed. The contouring often involves shaping to give the buttocks a full appearance. 3. Chondrolaryngoplasty. A telling sign for the male gender is the Adam's apple, located in the throat region. It is also responsible for a deeper voice. This type of surgery involves removing some of the cartilage so the Adam's apple isn't prominent anymore. Vocal surgery may be performed at the same time if the patient would like to have a higher pitch. There is a risk of damage to the vocal cords during these procedures. The chondrolaryngoplasty is done under local anesthesia and most patients can go home after a few hours in recovery. Most patients heal quickly from it but there may be some scarring from the incision. Swallowing and speaking may be difficult for a few weeks during the healing process. 4. Clitoroplasty. This surgical procedure involves creating the female genital known as the clitoris. The flap of skin that remains from inverting the penis is typically used to create it. This type of surgery can be very successful as long as the nerves haven't been damaged. The nerves allow the clitoris created to respond well to stimulation. It can be possible for males undergoing this type of change. This type of surgery can take several hours to complete. It can also take several months to heal properly. Patients are encouraged to avoid sexual stimulation of the clitoris until it is completely healed. There are several forms of this procedure and it is important to learn which the doctor will perform before you proceed with it. 5. Femalia. Not all female genitalia are the same. It varies in size, appearance, and other factors. Femalia is a book filled with different pictures. While some feel it is pornography, it can be a valuable tool for those interested in male-to-female sex reassignment surgery. They can share with professionals which look they are interested in. They can have a say in what the finished reconstruction of their body will look like. 6. Labiaplasty. This surgical procedure involves creating and detailing the inner and outer part of the labia. This area surrounds the vulva. This is often parts of the process in a series of surgical procedures for male to female changes. It is completed after the vagina has been constructed and healed. A hood for the clitoris is important and this procedure creates it. There are several different techniques offered. It depends on the desired outcome, the methods a professional chooses to use, and the desires of the patient. 7. Orchiectomy. The process of removing the testicles is referred to as orchiectomy. It is done before any type of reconstruction can begin. There are various ways this is completed, but the procedure tends to take an hour or less. Generally, it will be at least six months after this procedure before any type of reconstruction is scheduled. Many professionals will complete the orchiectomy at the same time a vaginoplasty is performed. If you plan to go with that procedure talk to the professional about both. This can save you a step and going under anesthesia again. 8. Vaginoplasty. As the name indicates, a vaginoplasty is a process for creating a vagina. When the procedure is done correctly a male to female reassignment allows it to function like a natural vagina. This can be one of several procedures completed before the transformation is complete. It is created from flaps of material remaining after the penis has been inverted. 
If there isn't enough material to create the vagina, skin grafts may be necessary. The skin can be taken from the abdomen or thigh. The procedure can take from 7 to 10 hours to complete. It may require additional surgery later on to improve function and appearance. The best procedures are conducted with this one step only. They do take a bit longer but worth it because it alleviates the need for additional details to be performed afterward for the vagina. Due to the intensity of this procedure, most patients will remain in the hospital for 3 to 5 days. After a few days, you will be able to get up and move around for short periods of time. Heavy lifting and extensive activities will be limited for a few months after the procedure. It takes 6 to 8 weeks to recover from a vaginoplasty procedure. Follow-up appointments with the doctor are essential and those appointments shouldn't be skipped. It is best to avoid any type of stimulation of the vagina for at least 3 months after it has been created. The amount of sensation the patient will have in the vaginal area depends on the nerve endings. Many are successful and feel plenty of sensation just a few weeks after the procedure. For others, the sensations build over time and can take up to a year to develop. If the nerves are damaged it can limit any sensation to the vagina created. 9. Baptist Medical Center Sex Reassignment Surgery Controversy In 1974 the Baptist Medical Center was one of seven locations where such surgeries took place. However, the board was not pleased to learn more than 50 surgeries of this nature had taken place between 1974 and 1977. The controversy developed around the Christian beliefs and the scientific nature of such alterations to the human body. The decision was made to end the approval of such procedures in Oklahoma. The main doctor and his son performing the procedures continued them by moving to another state. They believe these men have lived their entire lives trapped in a body that isn't who they are. Helping them become women physically and mentally can help them have the quality of life they deserve. 10. Blue Boy Trial A controversial court case in Japan about gender reassignment is the Blue Boy Trial. The term Blue Boy refers to a male at birth who is transgender. In 1965, a doctor was prosecuted for helping three women become men. He was found in violation of laws that caused unnecessary sterilization. The issue of surgical procedures for male to female changes didn't occur in Japan again until 1998 and continues to be controversial today. Regulations The regulations involved with sex reassignment surgeries male to female vary from location to location. Those interested in it need to obtain a free consultation from a trained professional. They may have to provide additional information including verification of hormone therapy for a given period of time and a letter from a mental health professional. While such procedures continue to be controversial, they continue to be performed. More people are pursuing them to have the life and body they desire. The risks vary depending on the overall health of the patient and other factors. The outcome depends on the skills of the professional and the procedure completed. Many individuals feel undergoing one or several of these sex reassignment procedures was worth it. They enjoy how they look and how their body functions. Understanding the possible risks and determining if it is right to pursue as a personal choice. Don't miss out on my future videos, thank you so much.